Hey guys, welcome back. I'm finally filming my Miranda Fry jewelry collection. I've been doing these brand dedicated collections for a while now and I had someone recently comment that they've been waiting for my Miranda Fry video for months now and I was like, okay, noted. I'm gonna get my ass on that. So here we are filming it finally. I think you guys are really gonna enjoy it because there's some great pieces here. I have a lot of stuff to share. They're a great company and I just think you guys are gonna love them. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. If you guys wanna see my Miranda Fry jewelry collection, please keep watching. Miranda Fry was actually one of the first brands to send me gifted jewelry pieces to share with you guys on my channel and on my Instagram. So they definitely hold a special place in my heart. I've been working with them forever and they're just great people all around. So all these pieces I would consider kind of like staple jewelry pieces, like very capsule collection. Everything is very on trend while still remaining classic and timeless. And I realize I might be an oxymoron, but I do think that buying classic pieces that are gonna last for years to come is very much in right now. So that's what a lot of these things are with the occasional, you know, bolder piece. And I do have a coupon code, it's just trulyjimmy10. This code recently started providing commission for me. So if you guys wanted to support my channel or if there's anything that I shared today that you guys are influenced to purchase, I would so appreciate it. Everything is gonna be linked below and the code is just trulyjimmy10. So that'll get you 10% off. And I so appreciate it. This video is not sponsored. Um, I have worked with them for many years and a lot of these pieces are gifted, but I have purchased a lot of these things as well. And I've purchased for friends and family, for Christmases, for birthdays. A little bit about the brand. Miranda Fry is based in Laguna Hills, which is in Southern California. I'm in Southern California so it's always really great to work with local companies. Miranda Fry started by making necklaces and unique pieces for herself. That quickly turned into making pieces for friends and family, and then it just spread and became a full-fledged business. Um, they're mainly sold on their website, but they are also sold on Revolve and Nordstrom, which I think is so cool. I actually didn't know that until I was doing research for this video. So really cool they're sold on there. But I would suggest ordering from their website because they just have more of a range of product. But let's get into the pieces, shall we? We're gonna start with what I'm wearing as always. So my earrings, I am so obsessed with these. I actually rediscovered them recently and I'm like, I'm gonna wear these all the time. They're so fun. The earrings are the Mel Huggies with a little heart charm on them. What's so cool about Miranda Fry is you can kind of customize pieces. So they sell hoops along with a bunch of different charms you can choose from. So you can kind of customize your own hoop earring. You can do the same with necklaces, so it's really fun. The hoops are a great size and just this heart is so fun. It's like a little bursting, shimmery heart and I just love it. The diameter of these hoops are 15 millimeters and the material is 18 karat gold plated as well for everything else in this video, unless I say differently. They do sell fine jewelry. If you guys wanted solid gold or real diamonds or anything like that, um, you can check out their fine jewelry section. And then on my second piercing, I have these little tiny studs. They don't sell this exact cut anymore. They're just little cubic zirconias, um, but they do have other options I will link below for you guys. But what's great about these is that they have the best earring backings. They do sell these backings on their own if you guys are in need of some earring backings. And then onto my necklace. This is probably one of my most worn pieces in my entire jewelry collection. This is the Julia necklace. I have it in gold, but I also have it in silver. These two actually look really great paired together because you get a mixed metal look and they just, the textures are perfect. So the length of this chain is 20 inches. They do offer a longer version, which I would suggest. I do wish I would have got the longer one, but this one is still great. I do have it a little bit tightened on my neck right now. It does lower a little bit, um, but I love the look of this gold necklace. It's kind of like a brush gold and it just has that vintage feel. It's a really fun texture, very unique. It's a great classic chain if you guys are looking for one. Um, I do feel like this is great for men too. It's very unisex and just really, really cool. Um, and I recently got the silver because I wear the gold so much. And you guys know if you watch my videos, I've been trying to build up my silver joy collection. Um, so I picked up the silver in this Trulia chain and it's so fun. So. Love that, one of my favorite pieces of all time. So good. I do have a few rings on from them. This one I have on my pinky, but it is actually not a pinky ring. I normally wear it on like one of these fingers, but for some reason it didn't fit today. I was like, okay. Um, I don't know if I had a lot of salt yesterday or something, but um, my fingers are swollen, I guess. Um, anyways, um, but it does look actually really cute on my pinky. I really like it. It's the Margot ring. I really love this style. This reminds me of something you might find at like a flea market or, you know, some type of vintage shop. It has a really, really cool vibe to it. It has little cubic zirconia embellishments that kind of look like little stars on there. Just a really fun take on a dome ring. Um, so I love that. And then on this hand, I have the MF ring and this is basically like a Cartier inspired ring. You guys all know this look. Um, they have a cuff as well to match if you guys wanted that style. Um, but it just has little cubic zirconias as well as little MF logos on it. So 
really fun. Just a few rings from them. I think I only have one more that I guess I'll just share now. Um, this is my only other ring from Random Fry. I mainly go to them for necklaces and earrings. Um, I do have a lot of bracelets too, but they just slay in those departments. Um, they do have good rings though. This is the Daniela ring. This could be the star of your ring stack because it is very bold, um, but it's still lightweight. And yeah, this is the Daniela ring. That's a wrap on rings. Let's move into necklaces. My favorite section on Random Fry's website. They just, they slay. Um, the first one is probably my most worn piece currently. I don't know when I like decided to start wearing this every day, but it's become an everyday piece for me. Kind of insane that I'm not wearing it today because I feel like I've had it on every day for the last few months. Um, but this is the Irene chain paired with a heart dad charm. They unfortunately don't have this dad charm anymore, but I love it. This chain is a great one. I will say it's, I think, one of my favorites from them at the moment, obviously, because I wear it every day. It's a gold filled 22 inch chain. If you look closely, it has a very faint twist to the design. It's just a really pretty delicate chain and it pairs great with pretty much any charm that they have. I have it in the gold, but you can get it in silver as well. Um, it's just a great one to choose if you guys are wanting to build some type of necklace at Miranda Fry. This is a great one to pick. 22 inches I think is my favorite length for the necklaces. I just like where it sits on my chest and on my neck and um, it just fits me best. So. This is a current favorite for sure. This next one is a newer piece. This is the McKenna necklace. It's like a classic chain link necklace, but it has a little emerald cut cubic zirconia in the center. And it just, you know, kind of adds a nice twist to things. I have a lot of chain necklaces. Um, so this is a bit different from things that I own. We'll see how I style it once I wear it more often, but it is really fun. Um, this one is 22 inches, but they do come in a longer length. You can get like a really long necklace and that's fun too. I don't really wear super long. I like kind of just like a medium long length. Not too short, well I do have short. Um, that's not always my favorite. I think just this medium length since best on me. 22 inches is my magic number, I guess. And then I have this really dainty little necklace that I love so much. I got it in honor of my sister. Um, it also could be for my mom because they both have C names, Carly and Kathy. Um, but I did have my sister in mind when I got this because it just kind of reminded me of something that she would wear and something that she would love. Um, it's a little gothic letter C with cubic zirconia. So it's gold, but it has a very shimmery, sparkly element. And I have it paired with the Karina chain. This is 19 inches and it's just nice. It's like, you know, just like just enough if you want just like a little bit of something on. Um, little necklaces like this are always super cute. Even though it's so small and dainty, people always notice it. So that's always nice, of course. I mean, who doesn't love a compliment? Um, <laughs> I definitely love a compliment. Um, but yeah, I love this. It's cute. Honor of my sister. And I think of her every time I wear it, I think she would have loved it. They unfortunately don't have this charm anymore, which I'm very sad about because I do think this is a great piece. They should bring it back. It's so, so cute. It's their gothic number charm. And it's just so cute. I love the style of the gothic lettering and the numbers. It has like a little cubic zirconia stud on it. It's just a great piece. This is the Vienna chain. I would say this is also one of my favorite chains from them. I just really love the textural difference with the beads compared to a chain link necklace or any type of dainty chain. It just looks great layered with other pieces and I think it just kind of sparkles and stands out on its own. This one is 21 inches so just an inch less than my favorite length. It still sits pretty nicely though so this is a good one. This necklace is a sleek herringbone style chain. It literally sits on your skin like liquid gold. This is a classic style that's been around for years and it's very much on trend right now uh, because everything comes back. It's the Mackenzie necklace and it's 18 inches. It's a great piece to throw in with your stack if you guys like to learn necklaces, but it also is just so classy on its own. It just adds a wow factor without doing too much and I really adore a piece like that. Another new necklace that I have not had a chance to wear yet. I paired it with a charm that I already owned and I'm not sure what I think about the pairing you guys will have to let me know i'm trying to mix metal on this and i'm not sure what i'm thinking but you guys will have to let me know so this is the harlow chain it's a really gorgeous silver chain it has very intricate details it's very different from any of the other chains that i have and this one is 24 inches so this is the longest chain that i own it's sterling silver um, and I'm excited to wear it, but I did pair it with a gold charm. This is the Alexandra charm. It's kind of like a bursting, shining heart. Um, I like how bold it is, and it does have some cubic zirconia on there, so it kind of shimmers a little bit, and I think that kind of ties into pairing it with the silver chain. Um, they just complement each other, and we'll see. I don't know. I don't know what kind of style of charm to do with this long of a chain. I, like I said, this is the longest one that I own, so I don't wear this very often, so I'm kind of just trying to figure out the sweet spot of what looks best, but you guys will have to let me know what you think. Next, we have the London necklace. This is definitely a cult favorite amongst 
Miranda Fry customers and fans. It's a very popular piece that's like one of their best sellers. Um, it's a beaded chain, it's on the shorter side. It's 16 inches, so it sits almost like a choker, but a little bit longer, at least on me. I'm sure it fits differently on everybody, but that's how it fits on me. It's a chain of three millimeter diamond cut beads. And if you look up close, they kind of look like little mini disco balls. It's probably one of the pieces that I've had the longest from them, and I have worn it countless times. It has held up really well, and it's just stunning. It's the perfect thing to add if you feel like you just need a little bit of something on, like you don't wanna do too much, maybe you're wearing a bulger earring, maybe if your outfit is kind of busy, but you still feel like you want a little necklace. This is a really good, simple way to go and still adds such a nice touch to your look. So um, this is a great one, would be a great gift. Honestly, like anything would be a great gift, but I do feel like many people would love that piece. Uh, many people do love that piece, so I recommend it for sure. Next, we have the Naomi necklace. It's a sterling silver double layered chain link necklace, and it's 15 inches, so it sits kind of like choker style on me. I really loved wearing it with, you know, like a graphic tee or some type of vintage t-shirt. I think the contrast of the pieces go really well together, and I don't know why it just feels special to me, because I think, because I never wear silver, so it always like pops a little bit more when I wear it because it's something different for me. Um, but this is a fun piece. I think they do have it in a bracelet version as well. I don't own that, but that is a great style. You could also get it in gold too, but we're trying to do silver over here, trying to incorporate more silver. And I am gonna do my silver jewelry collection very soon. That's what I wanna do next. So we'll see, that's coming soon, hopefully. And then for the last piece for this category, I have the Frankie necklace. This is a thin paper clip style chain and it's just a classic Miranda Fry piece. This is like, I could pick this out of a lineup and tell you this is Miranda Fry style. It really complements the necklace stack, but it also is just stunning on its own, you know, just like gets you a girl that can do both. It's an 18 inch, very lightweight, comfortable chain, but it still stands out because it is really unique. This necklace is 18 inches. I do have the matching bracelet. This is the Frankie bracelet. So it's the same texture, same style and another really fun piece. Just enough on its own, but it does look great paired with a watch. That's how I have always loved to wear it. I do think either of these would be a great gift because they're really fun and unique, and I think a lot of people would really like this style. And that will take us into our bracelets. So this next one is the Sydney bracelet. It's a chunky gold chain, and it's just really fun, very bold. The chain links are five millimeters, and it's just very shiny and out there. Um, it's a really fun piece, and I love it. Um, next up, I have this rope style chain. This is the Stella bracelet. It has a brush gold kind of look like you know something you might have found at a flea market or a vintage shop and I just love it the next two bracelets they unfortunately do not have online anymore but I really love this one it's probably my oldest one from them and it's still in great condition and so cute it's a classic chain link bracelet but it has little cubic zirconias in between each link and I just think it's really fun it kind of gives that mixed metal look it would look great paired with a silver bracelet or you know just something that's kind of what I've been doing if it has like some sparkly element to it I feel like I can pair it with silver and that's just been kind of my little trick and I think they look great together just kind of brings out the best of both and I really love it I'm sorry I can't link it and this next one is a flat gold chain I don't know what this texture is called I couldn't see it on the website obviously to tell you guys um, but it's another fun one great to layer with or just cute on its own um, but I'm not gonna spend too much time on it since I can't link it um, and that's it for my bracelets but I do have one anklet that I wanted to share I wear this anklet every single summer for the past like three or four years um, and I wear it in the pool in the shower to work out I do not take it off that's not really typical behavior for me because I am the kind of person that's like I need to get everything off before I go to bed before I take a shower I just hate having jewelry on when I don't need to I love wearing it for like things like this when I'm all done up or to you know throw a hoop on but I hate having extra stuff on it just like makes me uncomfortable so I usually take everything off but not this anklet probably because it's like you know down at my feet so I'm not thinking about it this is the Bella anklet it has held up amazingly over the years I like I said I wear it every single year I wear it in the ocean I wear it in the lake I wear it in the pool in the shower everything and I just it's been good to me so love this they have it online so I'll link it below for you guys and now for our last category earrings these are the Ryland hoops they are some extra large you know bigger the hoop you know what they say um, kind of hoops and they're so fun they're lightweight and thin and I feel like these are just the kind of earrings that like men love you know this is like male gaze earrings like I just these are like hot you know and um, I love them but I do wish that they connected in the back because they do kind of snag at my hair a lot and um, that's just kind of annoying but I really like how thin they are that's like the best part they just are like you know they stand out enough but they're still very like lightweight and just it's just like perfect you know um but i do love them they're 65 millimeter diameter they have that same stainless steel post for the earring backing 
and they're just sexy i love them i do kind of also want them in silver because i think they would look really cute like that but just a classic gold large hoop like that just does it for me you know um next up i have a newer pair these are the oakland hoops i'm obsessed with these these are probably the most unique pair of hoops that i own you guys know i have like so many hoop earrings that are all very similar but all different to me they're all unique in their own way these are really fun because they're like medium sized hoops they're 30 millimeters paired with a gold beaded chain and it just kind of dangles down at the bottom and I feel like these are also very like sexy. It's very feminine and glam. I'm very into them. I haven't worn them yet because I literally just got them but you guys will be seeing them soon for sure. I'm excited about them. They're really really cute. <laughs> these hoops they don't have on their website anymore which I was very sad about because I think they're just great. They are like an oval shaped hoop kind of like teardrop they come down to a swell at the bottom but they're just so bold and out there and just gold they add just the perfect look to any outfit and i just really love them i wear them all the time and they've held up amazingly um but i can't sell you on them too much because you can't get them another pair of hoops that they do not have any longer these are cute they're very small but still thick hoop earrings they're just very glam and girly so we love to see that and then on to my last pair of earrings and the last piece for this video these are the drew huggies and they're new i just got them recently but i've already worn them like 15 times because i love them they're the perfect thickness for this kind of very trendy instagrammy hoop People are always wearing this style. If you guys have seen it, if you've been online, you've seen girls wearing these. They just look so good with like your hair pinned back. They shine just enough. They look good just to add to any outfit. They're a 25 millimeter diameter and they're seven millimeters thick. They are sterling silver plated. And I went for the silver just cause I have so much gold already. So I thought, you know, let's do this. And I do really like the way they shine. I feel like it's just so, so cute and I'm obsessed. Um, so I've worn these a lot and I have others that kind of look like it, but these are the thickest pair that I have. So this is like the ideal size and then the ideal thickness. It's like, you know, I see this all the time on girls and they always look so amazing. Um, and they are lightweight. If you guys are wondering, no earring here is heavy. I do not mess with heavy earrings. Um, rarely some I have a few pairs that are heavy but I try not to wear them too often um, but these are very lightweight and comfortable you don't even feel that they're there and they are just perfection so that is the end of my collection I hope you guys enjoyed I hope you got some inspiration if you guys have any questions or comments or concerns or anything at all I would love to hear from you guys down below I'm always responding to comments I love chatting with you it's like the best part of uploading videos I love hearing what you guys think of everything and I'm obviously here to help if you guys have any questions about any of these pieces um, so don't forget to use my code trulyjamie10 if you pick anything up and Shout out to Miranda Fry, of course. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.